Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Anna and today I have another seller's haul for you guys. So you guys, I have some really, really exciting news. A lot of you guys who will follow me on Instagram already know. But going forward, I've decided instead of doing feed sales, I am going to be doing live sales on a weekly basis. So if you guys know, you know that I had decided that I wasn't going to do any live sales. I was mostly going to keep my account feed sales just to make it fair for everyone but I have noticed with live sales you do get more traction you do get new customers so I just decided you know what there's so many bigger things statement pieces things like that that I really want to bring into the shop that I haven't been able to do just doing my feed sales and the sales that I do on Etsy so I do want to start doing some live sales hopefully we'll see how they go um, if I've noticed that I get the same amount of traction the same results as I do with my feed sales then maybe I'll revert back to that but again usually I have seen that live sales just bring like new customers more growth so I've decided that instead of doing the feed sales I'm going to be doing live sales now my videos do usually premiere on Saturdays at 6 p.m. and I just want you guys to know that I did do a poll on my Instagram and these live sales will be on Friday at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So again, the videos will still continue to premiere on Saturday, but I wanted to let you guys know if you wanted to join that my live sales will be on Fridays at 8.30 p.m. And then if you follow me on Instagram, I always usually set reminders. So what I will do is because I know that's kind of tough because some people, you know, they like to watch the video and then they like to purchase items. So what I will do is I will set one or two items aside to post on Etsy, but there won't be like a huge variety like there usually is. So for example, if everything sells out in the live sale, it will just be that one or two items left that I set aside that will be on my Etsy. So I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that that will be the difference. I've also noticed that sales have also decreased from the videos that I post on YouTube. So not as many folks that watch my videos then head over and buy something on Etsy. So I've noticed like I don't really need to upload like 8, 10, 12 of the same item just because I don't get that many sales from people who watch my videos and then go purchase. So what I am going to do is that I do promise you guys I will set at least one or two items aside and then if you do miss out, if you want to send me a message, if someone doesn't end up paying for their live sale order or something, I can try to give you that or when I do get something new in, I can also just shoot you guys a message and let you know, hey, I got some more of this stuff in. So again, I just wanted to be very transparent with you guys that I will only set aside one or two of each item that I show. And then the rest are just going to be available in my live sales. And then again, if I do have things left over from the live sales, I'll post those to Etsy as well. But I just wanted to give you guys the heads up that I won't be posting like a ton of new items and there's going to be like five or six to ten different options. It is only going to be one or two just because again, I really want to pick up some more traffic. I want to be able to bring in some more crystals, some bigger statement pieces, some more rare crystals. But that's been really hard with what I'm making off the feed sales. A lot of the time I have to use my money that I also make from work and I really have to get better with that and I only need to invest in new crystals from sales that I make from my crystals so that's why the change I know you know a lot of people are like you don't have to explain it we get it but I just wanted to let you guys know why I was making the change I just there's so many more things I want to do I want to be able to go to the gem shows get you guys new crystals bring in more high quality rare crystals but to do that I just I'm gonna be honest I need more income so I'm just hoping that these live sales pick up and income picks up and hopefully I can bring you guys amazing crystals so let's get started because I'm so excited to show you what I have for this week's seller haul. So I only have very limited stock of some items. So I did get some cherite in. I got some cherite discs in as well as spheres. These are from Russia and you guys, they are so freaking gorgeous. So I do have a limited stock of these and then I also do have some spheres and some high quality sunstone spheres as well. So actually this layout that you guys are looking at right now is my live sale layout. This is what it's going to look like. 
just to give you guys a bit of a sneak peek. And then as I mentioned, I do have some Cherite. I have some smaller spheres. And then I got these really gorgeous, high quality Sunstone spheres as well. Oh, you guys, they are so gorgeous but again as you guys can tell this is all i have i have a super limited quantity of those but i will again set one aside two aside to post on my etsy for you guys and then i also did get in some gorgeous chalcedony spheres some minis and then i got these really cute aquamarine snowflakes as well so i definitely will set a few of these aside for etsy so you guys will have some options and i just i really loved how the colors look together and I love this little like treasure chest especially for crystals I just think it was so unique so that's why I put these kind of in a little treasure chest and then over here I don't know if you can tell too well I have a variety of mini Pokemon carvings so recently I feel like a lot of shops have had these a lot of people have wanted these so I finally was able to get in a good variety for you guys so here are the mini Pokemon options and they are like different type of crystals. So I have some Squirtles in Fluorite. I have some Charmanders in Calcite. I have these really gorgeous Flower Agate Pikachus. I had these actually a couple weeks back and a lot of you guys wanted me to get more. So I got more and then I got Gengasaur and Lapidolite. So I have a few different varieties just because I know like a lot of people and a lot of shops are buying Pokemon right now so I thought this is perfect I did the pokeballs I want to say what was it like maybe three four weeks ago so if you did snag a pokemon ball I think I still have one more left on my shop you can also snag these really cute pokemon again I get it it might not be for everyone I personally grew up in the 90s early 2000s and pokemon was like the best thing ever like i grew up with pokemon and i absolutely love them so i love 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 that this is a thing now and so many suppliers are making these really cute pokemon carvings because they are just that they're super super cute so if you are a pokemon fan i will have some of those set aside and then i wanted to show you guys i also added these gorgeous green flower agate butterflies and hearts so if you are a fan of green flower agate and i mean how can you not be? How gorgeous are these? I will have some in the live sale. I already set some aside to post on Etsy as well. I love the color in these. They're almost like a blue green. They're really, really pretty. I feel like a lot of the green blue almost reminds me of like Larimar. Do you guys see that? How gorgeous are these? So I set up a ton for the live sale and then don't worry, I have a lot of these. So I definitely will have them on my Etsy as well. And then let me show you the really cute butterflies. So here are the really gorgeous green flower agate butterflies as well. They're mainly carved on one side, but again, really, really stunning. They have this beautiful like teal, almost mint green color to them. They're so unique. If you guys know, way back when, a couple months ago, I did have the um, the Flower Agate Towers, the green ones, and they went super fast. And a lot of you guys were asking for me to get some more green Flower Agate into the shop. So I did get some hearts, some carvings, just to give you guys a nice variety. And then I am so excited about these. I got these absolutely stunning towers, butterflies, and moons of this gorgeous crazy lace agate from indonesia and you guys let me show you how insane these are so there is like mexican crazy lace agate which i had some towers of those a few weeks back and it's mostly they range in this like red to mostly gray and blue colors but you guys look at how gorgeous this crazy lace from indonesia it's is. like just this really stunning like pastel pink some lavender colors I'm really, really obsessed. The towers are more on like the peachy side. Also, you guys, they are really, really beautiful. And I am obsessed with these carvings. I kept one of each for myself because, I mean, how can you not? How stunning is that color in them? So beautiful. So most of them, I try to get more of like the pastel -y kind of pink, purple, blue ones versus like the peachy ones. But you guys, the peachy tones are really insane also so i don't mind them either so here is another moon this is actually one of my biggest one and this will be on the live sale table if it doesn't sell i will post it to etsy 
but I do for now plan putting it in my live sale. This is the biggest moon that I got and it has these really gorgeous druzy pockets. A lot of them, a lot of the butterflies towers do have some absolutely like breathtaking druzy pockets in them. And you guys, the towers though, oh my goodness. So they are definitely a lot more on that peachy side as I mentioned to you, but you guys, how freaking gorgeous are these? I am obsessed. And just like the banding, you guys know me, I am a sucker for anything agate. So when I saw these gorgeous agates with like druzies, these really gorgeous kind of peachy pink pastel tones, I had to get them in the shop. I haven't seen too many shops offer them, but I'm obsessed. When I saw them, I absolutely love them. They are so stunning. I definitely want to try to get spheres as well. Now look at this one. I just want to show you guys how insanely druzy that is. Oh my goodness. They are so stunning, these pieces. I cannot. I just, oh, I'm obsessed. I actually ended up keeping two towers for myself because, I mean, how can you not? These are drop dead gorgeous. I honestly, play with these all day because they are just so stunning. Like, look at that druzy pocket. Oh, you guys, so freaking amazing. I absolutely love these. And if they do sell out, I definitely do want to get some more in just because, again, I really love the color on these and how they look. Like this one is super peachy and pink. Oh, you guys, I'm just, I'm so obsessed with these. This was such an amazing find. Like I know a lot of shops went to Tucson and are getting crystals, but from what I saw, a lot of the things that people are getting from Tucson are just kind of like the same thing or that you've seen over and over. There's nothing really new that I'm seeing that's out in the market. But there's nothing like super new that I saw from the Tucson Gem Show. I think, of course, they offer really gorgeous items, obviously. But I just, there wasn't anything like super rare or new that stood out to me that was like, oh my goodness, I need to get this into the shop. But again, that just might be me. I hope next year I'll be able to afford to go. And again, that's kind of why I'm trying to do some live sales to be able to go. And then I did restock up on these gorgeous fluorite snowflakes. I posted these to Instagram, I want to say about a month or two ago, and they sold out that same night. So I wasn't actually even able to get any into my Etsy because they all sold out the same night that I posted them, but I did get more. And then I also have these really beautiful flower agate snowflakes, but they are bigger. But look at the color in these. They are these gorgeous like pastels, purples, and pinks. I'm so obsessed with these. So I got these as well because I feel like everyone loves flower agate and you really can't go wrong. So I did get some more of those to kind of go with the small fluorite ones. And then if you guys do end up joining my live sale, as you can tell, I did make all new bracelets. And it is kind of hard for me to post the custom bracelets to my Etsy. So if you ever see anything, just inquire. Send me a message on either Etsy or Instagram and I can make you one. But these are all new bracelets that I made for this live sale. So these are gorgeous crackle quartz. And then I added in these aura beads. But these are glass beads, so they're not a crystal bead. They're just kind of like a crafting bead. But oh, you guys... How gorgeous is that with the crackle quartz? I was just so obsessed that I had to add that in. And then I did get that aura bead in like so many different options. So I just did like a highlight with this white aura. I just really love the way they looked and popped. So I really kind of just really played around with these gorgeous aura beads. And then for this one, I did a mix of like the purple aura, blue auras. And then this is actually a lilac amethyst. I just really love the pop of color that those aura give. And I've already previewed a lot of these on my Instagram and you guys are going insane for these. So thank you so much because I'm really so happy that you guys like them. And how this will work in the live sale is I will show them and let you know kind of how many quantities I have. And then also if you want to just join the live for the bracelets, you can take a screenshot of the bracelet you would like and then send me a message afterwards so I can make you a custom one. And what's really great about these custom bracelets is that I do make them to size. So if you have a smaller wrist and need a smaller size, I can do that. If you have a bigger wrist and need a bigger size, 
I can do that as well. This is a gorgeous aquamarine bracelet with just this really gorgeous diamond heart silver charm. And then I just added some silver detailing to it. And then also did a gorgeous sodalite with a monster leaf charm. And then I did add some crackle quartz in the middle. So it's crackle quartz and sodalite with, again, some gorgeous silver detailing. Then my next one, a lot of folks have been asking for some African bloodstone beads. So I did get some of those. And then I just added a gorgeous little gold charm, some gold detailing in the middle. So again, I just wanted to do something more, something extra. I feel like bead bracelets, the regular ones with just beads are great, don't get me wrong. But I just really wanted some more emphasis, some more oomph, just something a bit more creative and interesting. So I love these little charms. I love anything sparkly. I'm actually a super girly girl when it comes to that. I love sparkles, so I just I couldn't resist. So this is some gorgeous Larimar with some rose gold detailing and these gorgeous moonstone beads. So it is Larimar and moonstone with a lot of rose gold detailing and then a gorgeous little diamond rose gold heart to just kind of accent it all. So those are all the new bracelets that I will have for the live sale. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this week's seller haul. If a lot of you did join me on Friday, thank you guys so much. If you are just new and you're just seeing my video and you weren't able to join on Friday, don't worry. Again, as I mentioned, I will set some items aside for Etsy. There just won't be as much as there used to be. And again, you can always message me if there's something that you saw that you would like to get in because I can get some more in for you guys. And again, just a final reminder, I will now be doing live sales over on my Instagram on Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. It might not be every single week, but again, just if you follow me on Instagram, I will definitely let you know ahead of time if there will be one, if there won't be one. And then of course, I will do the seller's haul, but again, those will post the day after the live sale. So just be mindful of that. So thank you guys so much for all your support. I'm so excited for this new chapter and being able to do live sales. And I hope you guys can join me so thank you guys for all your support. I'm excited for this next chapter. I really hope things pick up with these live sales and hopefully I can bring in some more amazing larger crystals, more rare crystals. So until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.